Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session we will discuss everything related to M109A6 Paladin. If you are eager to learn further of this artillery system, don't miss out and keep watching this video till the end. Paladin M109A6 is a cannon artillery system with self-propelled howitzer developed by the Ground System Division of United Defense LP, which is currently known as BA Systems Land and Armaments. It was manufactured at the Paladin Production Operations Center at Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Paladin was first developed in 1994 and is currently operated by the United States and the Israeli armies, as well as selected by Kuwait and Taiwan. In June 1999, the U.S. Army received the last of the 950 Paladin M109A6 that it ordered. Seven systems were requested in July 2000 for the U.S. Army National Guard and a further 18 systems in January 2002. The U.S. Army received the first Paladin M109A6 upgraded to M109A7 standard in April 2015. This artillery was used in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom in the early of 2003 and in the continuing operations in Iraq, including Operation Al-Fajr in Fallujah in November 2004. Moving on further, we will take a look at the design of this vehicle. The M109 has a crew of six commanders, gunner, driver and three ammunition members. The hull is made of all-welded aluminium armor, which protects against small arms fire and shell splinters. The driver is seated at the front left of the hull, with the power pack to the right and the turret at the back. The driver is also provided with a single-piece hatch cover that opens to the left with three M4-5 day periscopes in the front. These can be covered with small metal flaps to prevent damage. The M109A6 has a larger turret than its predecessor. It is fitted with the M284 155mm L39 howitzer, equipped with a semi-automatic loading system. Its maximum range of fire is 24 km with standard projectiles and 30 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. Its maximum rates of fire is 4 rounds per minute and sustained rate is 1 round every 3 minutes. Moreover, some of the U.S. Army M109A6 Paladins were equipped with modification kits to fire M982 Excalibur Extended Range Precision Guided Projectiles. The Excalibur is GPS-guided and has a maximum range of 40 kilometers. The Paladin can stop and fire the first round in under 60 seconds. The M109A6 is also fitted with an automatic fire control system with an integrated navigation and inertial positioning system. It is also fitted with a muzzle reference system. Armor of the M109A6 Paladin provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection system. Turret is fitted with Kevlar anti-spall lining. Vehicle is powered by the Detroit Diesel 8V71T diesel engine, developing 440 horsepower. Some Paladins are going to be upgraded with a common 600 horsepower diesel engine. The M109A6 Paladin vehicle is propelled by a two-cycle diesel, 440 horsepower, D-Deck 8V71T engine from Detroit Diesel Corporation and an Allison ATD XTG. 411 4 transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. The suspension system is based on high strength torsion bars with high capacity shock absorbers. The vehicle has a range of 214 miles with a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour. Its electrical power supply is rated at 650A, 24 VDC. In regard to the armaments, this artillery system is also equipped with the 39 caliber 155mm M284 cannon and M182 gun mount, with a range of 24 km using unassisted rounds or 30 km using assisted rounds. The projectile loading can be carried out using the full-stroke hydraulic system or a semi-automatic loading system. The M109A6 Paladin reaches a maximum firing rate of up to 8 rounds a minute or 3 rounds in 15 seconds, and a sustained firing rate of 1 round every 3 minutes. The gun is operated with an automatic fire control system with ballistic computer fitted with an optical backup. The vehicle's inertial positioning and navigation system is integrated with the automatic fire control system. 
What seems to be interesting is that the M109 Paladin is supported by self-protection system, in which the crews remain in the vehicle throughout the mission. This vehicle is protected against nuclear since the chemical and biological warfare are installed with individual crew protection systems, including temperature-controlled air. The turret is fitted with Kevlar spall suppression lining for additional ballistic protection. In addition, the Paladin M109A6 howitzer is also equipped with the communication system. It is fitted with a secure voice and digital communication suite, including the VIC-1 intercom, VRC-89, or the Sinker single-channel ground and airborne radio subsystem. What seems to be the greatest difference of this artillery is the integration of an inertial navigation system, sensors detecting the weapon's lay, automation, and an encrypted digital communication system, which utilizes computer-controlled frequency, hopping to avoid enemy electronic warfare. It allows the howitzer to send grid location and altitude to the Battery Fire Direction Center, FTC. The Battery FTC in turn coordinate fires through a battalion or higher FTC. This allows the Paladin to halt from the move and fire within 30 seconds with an accuracy equivalent to the previous models when properly in place, laid, and safe, a process that required several minutes under the best of circumstances. Tactically, this improves the system's survivability by allowing the battery to operate dispersed by pairs across the countryside and allowing the howitzer to quickly displace between salvos or if attacked by indirect fire, aircraft, or ground forces. Talking about the variant, M109A7 is the most recent upgrade of the Paladin. Formerly, this system was known as the M109A6 PIM Paladin Integrated Management. The first prototype was shown in 2007. Upgraded artillery systems have a new automated loader and some components of the cancelled Crusader and n C. The U.S. Army plans to operate a fleet of 580M109A7 howitzers and the same number of associated armored ammunition support vehicles. In 2018, the government of Saudi Arabia has requested 180 of 155mm M109A5A6 medium self-propelled howitzer structures for conversion to 170 of 155mm M109A6 Paladin medium self-propelled howitzer systems with some other artillery systems. The total cost is predicted up to $1.31 billion. This proposed sale is expected to contribute to the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security of an important partner, which has been and continues to be a leading contributor of political and economic progress in the Middle East. This sale will increase the Royal Saudi Land Forces, RSLF, interoperability with U.S. forces and conveys U.S. commitment to Saudi Arabia's security and armed forces modernization. If you find this video is interesting, don't forget to like, share and comment, and the most important one is to hit the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.